Hey guys, what's up? German Farmer here, or Ethan, whichever you prefer. And I'm back here in Orchard Life, or not California Life, gosh dang it. You saying Orchard Life, and yeah, anyways. I'm here with Hard Truck One. Hello. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, I talked about him uh, in an earlier video, yesterday's video actually, about how he has been having issues with his computer, how he can't run his recording software and his games at the same time, and my and farming sim is just the mods. <laughs> um, he is um. He his ear because thought we could just talk and I could just do some farming actually. That's okay. Is it? <laughs> I know you're playing yep. a game as well too, so. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm playing Minecraft. Yeah. Um, Minecraft for. Minecraft works fine for him as long as he doesn't have like super mod packs and isn't running his recording software. Except he gets lag yeah, like everybody else, but still. <laughs> yeah. So, we thought we would talk about, well, I thought we would talk about um, stuff that has been going on in the gaming community, I guess. I mean... <laughs> like Farming Sim 17 and all these other new games and stuff that are coming out and how it would, they're good games and how they're bad games, sort of. Um, yeah. I'd like to start out with Farming Sim 17 actually because I was talking with my other buddy um, and uh, he um, was complaining of how back Remember back in, uh, 2013 how they had, um, these, uh, DLCs that cost money? Like the Westbridge Hills DLC for one, for an example? Yeah. Um, he was, he was saying that, why don't they just add the same, why don't they add the DLCs from, um, like the older games into the newer one? Like, mean, the older game into the newer version. That way, I mean, you don't have to spend tons of money just to get um, all every single DLC for Farming Sim 13. And I don't like they do that for 17 too, because the way 17 is going, as far as I've been looking, um, it has slightly better graphics. Um, it has the aspect where they are getting they're actually getting in a new brand an actual um american brand they're actually getting in the um challenger or cat i mean um for their tractors and um i uh thought that was really neat but the issue is i'd like to have some more american vehicles besides case like john deere or like the other brands um Right. There's another one around here that I forget about. It's gonna kill me. Um, it just would make sense to. I mean, with the um, like with the Westbridge Hills deal, with the Westbridge in this game, 15 right now, um, they don't really have much. They don't. They didn't really add much in American, like. American vehicles. They have basically all European crap. <laughs> um and it annoys some it annoys some players cuz they would like to use American non-modded vehicles for this game and I agree with them completely. I I mean that annoyed me for that annoyed me a lot of times cuz when I got the Westbridge Hills DLC for 13, um, it, uh, it, um, only had, it only added a semi that, I mean, it worked fine. They just could have added it, added it to this game besides the man truck we have now. 
Right. You have any light to shed on this? <laughs> no, because well, kinda. I'm. I haven't been uh, keeping up with the. I didn't even know farming sim 13 was or. 17. Whatever you said it was. 17 was coming out. The, I know. It's coming out at the end of this year. Same time as the election. Net 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 net. Oh, rubber band. <coughs> Why am I rubber banding? Mm. Uh, I had to do with something with a sword. Ah. Um. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind seeing. Uh, I wouldn't see. I wouldn't mind like seeing. Hi. <coughs> American stuff. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I can understand why they have why they have British vehicles and stuff in there is because it's a British company. So. Exactly, but there's an issue where it's if you're gonna add an American map, you better add American vehicles. That's. That's the true. one issue with people. Yeah, that's true. Um. So yeah, I guess it just kind of... Yeah. Go ahead. Just kinda, yeah. Um, really, truthfully, I can't tell you too much about uh, about it because I haven't looked it up that much. Right. Now, if it's kind of the same as the 2015, then there was a lot of aspects to 2015 that were kind of lost during 2013. Yeah. Which should have been, uh, yeah. Which should should have been in the game, to begin with, because it was already in the game. Because I mean, down the line, they've added. The only thing they've expanded on is basically graphics and more tr and more European shit. <laughs> that's yeah. the basic. That's the basic gist of what they've been doing through the freaking first game through fifteen right uh -huh. now. I gotta understand the trend for Russian vehicles right now for 15 because there's a lot of logging trends going on as well. So people want like realistic equipment for logging, and apparently Russian vehicles right. are used a lot for logging. <laughs> yeah, because in that, in that, in in Russia, there was a lot of I can understand a lot of the logging. Look, here you go again, a lot of the logging stuff was, uh, they really didn't have the money to take and buy brand new, so they had to buy old military stuff, so. Right, right. And if you think about it, the, um, the first start of how logging ever got created for 15 was that, I've heard that, um, that my ear that fell out, <laughs> that, um, it first originally started when, somebody made a logging mod for 13 and mm -hmm. it got released and everybody was all over it because they thought it was another aspect of the game because I mean seriously you wouldn't you wouldn't just want to farm out all day you want to do something else right. logging or what I'm doing now is orchard right now <laughs> um yeah and uh it just brings in a whole nother light to farming because, I mean, yeah. it gives you another thing to do while your plants grow. That's basically how I think of it. Or right. while your hired workers are harvesting and all that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love giants, but seriously, <laughs> they need to step up their game a little. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I have to admit, between 13 and... 15 they've kind of yeah they've kind of down downgraded a little bit with cosmetic stuff i mean you know having like uh westbridge hills already in 2015 that's nice um but like you said a lot of the time i think a lot of people were expecting to have uh american stuff american, yeah uh, stuff and Really, truthfully, all they did really did was add more European. Besides the auger wagon, which came from the actual Westbridge Hills DLC. 
true. Yeah. Um, but still, even at that, I mean, one piece of equipment, or even <laughs> even a half a dozen pieces of equipment from America doesn't really didn't really set it. Right. Um, so maybe in 2017, if there's probably a little bit more, uh, a lot more American uh, style vehicles or equipment in it, then you know. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not saying like go all American. I'm just saying like split it down the middle with American and European. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. I mean, and, you know, even if they even if they had to shrink the amount of vehicles in it, uh, but maybe make it in such a way that you have a choice of whether you want to do European style vehicles or American style vehicles. You know, have kind of their equivalent in vehicles right. yeah. and equipment. Right. But like I said, I, I'm not sure too much about what what's up with uh, 2017 because I've not, I haven't been reading up too much with it. Mm -mm. And I mean, <sighs> they could bring like more. They could even bring like more freaking Russians to the damn game. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just like split it down the middle between Russian, European, and American, and it wouldn't bother me one damn bit. Because if you if you think about it for a little bit, um, people are just gonna try and convert once seventeen comes out. And they give the a um, mod code and all that. People are gonna try and convert um every single Russian vehicle into that that they can for logging and all that. Even the Russian tractors I've seen. Um, and it, I mean, <sighs> there has to be that split. I mean, can't overhaul it with tons and tons and tons of just one like. Um, style of vehicle. Right. And see, and I think that's where the modding community comes in a lot because, see, there's a lot of people out there that's like, okay, well, we're going to stick with, you know, vanilla vehicles because, you know, that's what the game came with and we're hardcore. But there's also another side to it where it's like, well, the problem is the base game doesn't have the let's take and say and neither of us is sponsored to say anything about this but let's take like New Holland uh -huh. uh, somebody likes New Holland well <laughs> the base game doesn't come with New Holland well now they're gonna take and get into modding so that that way they can have a New Holland tractor in there right whereas if maybe if the game actually came out with New Holland already in it, well, that same person may, may not actually go and mod it just right out of the bottle. Right. So. But yeah, I mean, and I'd, ha I'd have to look at more, look at it more to Sorry, I'm concentrating a little bit now. No, so am I. Um, I mean, map. I mean, modders have done so much, so, so much, and for 15, and then it comes to people start stealing their mods and start taking the credit for it. Yeah. And then when 17 comes around, they might come back, and the same thing might happen. Yeah. Um, and yes, viewers, I realize that this trailer isn't collecting cherries. I don't know why. 
<coughs> um, I'm gonna have to get the multi fruit mod in because there, I think there's a glitch on why it's not working. But it's like, why would you go through the struggle of taking other people's credit for what they do? I mean, right. Switching off of 17 here a little because. I mean, let's basically, basically extended that a little. Um, yeah. Basing off of what modders have been doing, like, there was this one guy um, by the name of King Merc. He had to, he, st he stopped modding. He literally dove off the face of the earth, <laughs> of the earth because people kept stealing his mods. And, <laughs> mods. Um, yeah. And it just got at hand because then you have to like check for to make sure that um you have to actually make sure that you can get the rights to you have to actually ask them to be able to post it on a site not like how yeah. FS FSUK was doing for 13 how they were stealing modders mods I mean that was the ridiculous part I mean seriously yeah they got busted for it too their site got taken down now there's a new site up called FS2K <laughs> I think they learned their lesson yeah. um but in the fact of they have they have to make sure that their mods don't get stolen again they just have to at least like try and lock their mods or try and figure out a way that they can make their mods not ever be uploaded again like yeah like a like a uploading like an uploading I don't know like if you try and upload it a virus will go onto your computer or something <laughs> or some crap <laughs> yeah or just or maybe just have it in such a way that, you know, mm. and it also has to do with your hosting sites, too. Right, right. You know, the, your hosting sites are there, you know, okay, we're going to um, host uh, such and such as mod. Well, somebody else takes it down, takes and downloads it and goes, oh, well, we'll just change this and then we can re-upload it as our own. Right. Well, Maybe that uh, site that's hosting it needs to go, oh, well, no, this mod already exists, and, um... All you did was change one thing, so... And so now, and so, no, this doesn't count, so we'll, we're going to block that from being uploaded. Yeah. But yet, make it in such a way that, like, maybe a new modder that, you know, sees that and goes, oh, okay, well, maybe I can build off of that and actually modifies it, you know, heavily. And create a new, like, a new use for it. Yeah. Like then the site... Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, then the site needs to go, oh, well, no, this is not the same thing because it doesn't look like this one. Right. And, uh, but anyway... And, like, if you turn, like, an ordinary pickup truck into, like, a heavy hauler with a whole new bed and a whole whole new set of like back end and strobes and all that yeah I mean that's fine if you turn somebody's mind to like something that's I mean needed sometimes if people want to do videos with heavy hauling turn a pickup truck into a heavy hauler I mean go ahead do it but when you steal somebody's mind and don't change anything in it that's just the messed up shit or, or even if you do change you know very to it. My brother just dropped off a smithy. Go ahead. Um, or even if they do change a little bit of it, it needs to know that, okay, this mod is actually originally somebody else's. Right. Um. Why? But yet now, let's put it this way. Now, if they do change that and, um, they show. Oh great! I'm having a glitch. Oh, never mind. It worked. It started to work. That was an interesting fight. 
Um, but anyway, what I was saying is, like, if they do, uh, however, change that every little bit, but then take and mention that, oh, hey, this mod was somebody else's, I just went in and changed a little bit, then the site needs to be recognized, then whoever's running the site needs to recognize, okay, yes, they have changed it, but they have, uh, Credited, yeah, credited the person that originally made it, so. Yeah, baby. God damn it. Yeah, but there's that. I'm about to slap my dog. Alright, I'm doing it. issue where I mean if you give credit to them like say hey this was the original mod that I um made it made new yeah that I made this was the original mod that I turned they turned that mod into this or something like that oh, oh, great of course my girlfriend's here <laughs> Uh, never mind. Um, did I just say it's she's my girlfriend, even though we hang out a lot? And sh never mind. But there's that there's that issue right there, and it's not really and there's not really that much of an issue though, as long as you give them credit. Right. So I'm trying to say, and. <laughs> I mean, as long as you give them credit, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's fine, but in other cases, it's just, just no. Why would you, why would you do it unless you give them credit for it? Whoa! What happened? I have no idea. I'm stuck inside of, I'm stuck inside of eyes. Never mind. Mm. Okay. Continue on. Oh my god. Um... You know what? I think we covered basically a lot in this episode. I'm sorry, but I promised my fans the the longest episode ever. But the way my schedule is today, I'm gonna have to end it off early, unfortunately. Alrighty. I mean, I know it's fine with you since you're just playing Minecraft, but <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Sorry, I had to end this early. I really apologize. I'll find a way to make it up to you guys. I will see you guys next time. Peace.